more trees, building shade for bus benches, and painting asphalt streets with a cool pavement finish. On Greater LA, KCRW Steve Chiatakis looked into what sort of impact these steps will have. There's a news flash for you. It's hot in Los Angeles. Even crossing the street on a day like today can be a drag if there's no shade. And imagine if we were waiting this long period on the other side of the street. I don't want to. I, I don't either. Now there's a good chance you're used to this. It's in the mid-90s if you're in the valleys today, standing in the sun, waiting for the light to turn green. Well, I hope you like it because it's going to be like this a lot more. City leaders actually estimate that parts of the city inland from the beach will see the number of 95 degree days double in the next few decades. Places like this hot intersection on West 54th Street in South Los Angeles. And when that happens, not all streets are created equal. In fact, if you look at an overhead map of LA's trees, most of them are shading wealthy Angelino neighborhoods. Maybe you haven't thought about it this way, but shade is an equity issue. Shade is a justice issue. That's LA Mayor Eric Garcetti. He's been thinking about this a lot, and he says he has a plan. Plant more trees, build more shade for sidewalks and bus stops, and paint the asphalt roads with a surface that's actually reflective. It's all meant to work in concert with the city's other climate fighting efforts, like slashing emissions, boosting renewable energy, and encouraging you to take public transportation. But how much of a difference will something like this make, especially for communities like this one? KCRW's Benjamin Gottlieb spent some time in the Hyde Park neighborhood of South LA to find out. This is a neighborhood where a lot of people don't have air conditioners, tree-lined streets, or time to get to the beach. And so when it gets hot, you bake. At least that's the experience of Angel Barrera. He's a senior at Alliance William and Carol Ochi High School in Hyde Park. I'm one of those students that takes the bus a lot, so to school and sometimes back home. And, you know, just being in the sun is very, like, it gets very stressful. You know, you get headaches, you know, you can pass out because, you know, the heat, it's very strong. What's the most obvious way to get shade? Well, trees. But LA isn't naturally blessed with them, especially in neighborhoods like this one. This is where Rachel Mallorich comes in as the city of LA's first urban forest officer. You know, we've known for a long time that our canopy is not equitably distributed across the, the city. And shade through tree canopy is one of our tools for protecting our communities from heat and from climate change. And it's one of the most cost effective tools we can use for that. She wants to plant 90,000 more trees in the next couple of years and increase the city's tree canopy by 50% in the next 10. But she says this is a major lift considering the layout of Los Angeles. On the street where we are right now, there isn't a dedicated parkway space. We have some concrete cuts where trees could go. We have some overhead power lines. So there isn't a ton of room for trees to begin with, which is part of the challenge of my position. We're built out. And so how do we find space where we can put not just trees, but trees that are gonna provide significant shade over the course of their lives. The other big push from the city is changing the pavement. Cool pavement is a light colored coating that's painted over asphalt. And the idea is to reflect just a little bit more of that hot sun rather than absorb it. Bryn Lindblad works with the nonprofit Climate Resolve. She's demonstrating what cool pavement does to street temperatures. So Bryn, you're holding two what look like uh, small power drills, but I imagine there's something else. We call our heat temperature guns. Um, so you point the laser at different surfaces and you can get a reading out of what uh, what's that surface temperature. So what are we seeing right now? Go ahead and use one. We're seeing on our fresh, cool street here, let's see, we've got about 122 degrees. So hold on, 122 degrees on the asphalt right here in Hyde Park today in October. Makes you think you could cook an egg on it, huh? <laughs> And uh, with this cool pavement, is that the cool pavement over there? Go check Should we out check the that out? Pavement in the middle of the intersection too. Yeah. <laughs> Some more stretch here. 111 degree, 110 degrees. A temperature drop like that, about 10 degrees, is typical, and that's why the city of LA is all over this idea. Over the last couple of years, it has covered some 50 blocks in different reflective coatings and seals. And LA Mayor Eric Garcetti announced a plan earlier this year to cover 250 lane miles of city roads in time for the 2028 Summer Olympics. But does it actually work? Well, some say not really. 
A recent study by a climate scientist at Arizona State University tested this cool pavement in Sun Valley, out in the San Fernando Valley. That study found on a hot, dry day at that location, a person could actually feel seven degrees warmer on cool pavement, as opposed to a normal blacktop, because the heat radiates upward. Even so, LA Mayor Eric Garcetti says he is not wavering. He says that study is just one look at one place. We know that the difference between a concrete street and a black asphalt street, we know that just all of us from doing that, that it can uh, reduce summertime outdoor temperatures for the city if we do this in enough places by as much as a degree. It certainly works with our rooftops as well. So we know it's a proven science, but we're going to make sure we have those universities out there. And we're going to do a methodical study on it. And it's one of many things in the arsenal that we're doing simultaneously. Either way, members of this community are thrilled just to see the city paying attention to them, including Lisa Spearman, who's walking down West 54th Street under the baking sun. I think it's awesome, man, because it gets gravely hot here. Three years ago when I moved here, I didn't have a car, so I was on the bus stops, and I was on the bus stops, and I was actually inventing things. I was like, man, if they had one of those overheads with the mist sprays, because I think in Vegas, some of them have that, you know, where you're on the bus stop and they have those overheads and they spray water on you. And they are so awesome. So for California to be doing something like that, it's not falling apart. Now it's falling into place. In Hyde Park for KCRW, I'm Benjamin Godley. KCRW's